Okay, so what I what I had just asked Jordan was if um, if he as an esthetician like myself, we get a lot of people coming in uh, saying I have rosacea. And Jordan said yes, that he does also have people coming in saying the same thing. And what one of the questions that um, that we did get on our one of our YouTube videos was from Anna. And she asks, she says, I've been told by numerous estheticians that IPL can help manage rosacea. Is this true? And thank you. So uh, yes, IPL is one of the only lasers that it, uh, IPL of the photofacials, they work on lightening the brown spots. So once you do an IPL, you will get those coffee granules, those dark discoloration, the, the little brown spots will then flake off. But it does also help with the little blood vessels, the, the ruddiness that you get with rosacea. It definitely helps that and it is one of the only lasers that really does help with, with rosacea. So yes, to answer your question, it does help. But one of the, the other things that I wanted to also mention is that a lot of people say they have rosacea, but when I actually look at their skin, they just have dilated capillaries, which is what we term cuperose which um, to understand that rosacea there is, it's not just the ruddiness and the dilated capillaries that one gets around the nose and on the cheeks and even on the chin um, area, but what it is, is rosacea you actually do get little pustules with it and they can be tiny little pimples, a little irritation, red bumps, or they can actually be pustules where they have infection inside them. So rosacea, it tends to occur more in people in their 30s. It tends to be sort of that 10 year where rosacea will, will can flare up and someone can all of a sudden now have rosacea. It is something that is not very difficult to treat. I tell my clients that do have rosacea that I diagnose them with rosacea to stay away from tomatoes. And there's also something that I have here that I brought to show you because a lot of people ask, what can I do to help my rosacea? And this is a product that you can get from Whole Foods or um, Trader Joe's. It's called psyllium husk powder. It's from India. It works on the digestion and it doesn't taste great. You mix it with either a little bit of water or a little bit of a juice and um, you know you can have it um, either before you go to bed or in the mornings but it is something that really helps to clean out that gut area which is what is associated with the digestion and rosacea they are linked so I know that people that have been taking psyllium husk powder for rosacea it has improved the rosacea by at least 30 percent so this is one of the only things that I know really helps and supports people that do suffer with rosacea. Do you have anything, Jordan, that you would like to comment on for people that you have found that might be really good for someone who has rosacea or even just the dilated capillaries, cuprose, the ruddiness? Well, I was gonna say two things. One is, I would say about 90% of my clients who, who believe they have rosacea or have been told they have rosacea, they just simply have cuprose skin. Yes. So mm -hmm. just, Mimic, you know, saying what you said, ex yes. that's exactly true. Um, another thing I find, which I find exacerbates the condition, is so many of my true rosacea prone clients are also almost addicted to heat, like extremely hot showers, which yes. not, good. not good at all. But mm -hmm. it, it's funny that it almost is hand in hand, where my yes. clients who don't have rosacea, it's almost like they're drawn to it for some reason. So obviously, that's something to stay away from. Um, but I don't know about the psyllium husk, so that is a uh, Yeah, the psyllium very husk powder is really good. But it is true that a lot of people, um, they are saying that they have rosacea and they really do not. So do understand rosacea is, um, it, it is ruddiness, but there are little bumps associated with ruddiness. It, uh, it's not just, just you know, the, the red rosy cheeks which a lot of people feel they have rosacea and it, uh, it isn't that. But if you just have cuprose and you don't have the little bumps or the pustules that you get with rosacea, it's important to use lukewarm water on your skin at all times. Don't go to the extreme hot and cold. Like a lot of people feel that, you know, having really hot showers, that's not great for anybody who has damaged capillary walls, the ruddiness. 
but and, and it's also not good to have really cold either so it's better to always to, to keep it lukewarm water don't do the extreme extremity change water change after washing your face either and uh, or having a shower so if you are one who suffers with either cuprose or rosacea keep it to the mild in every aspect and stay away from tomatoes. 